Well, here I am at my old pump organ, um, also known as a reed organ. Um, reason why it's known as a reed organ is because there are a whole bunch of reeds in this organ that um, the um, make a sound when air stri strikes them, and the and the only way to for air to strike it is for um, it, is for the um, pedals to be pumped, and what, when the pedals are pumped, that um bring, brings in enough air to pump it um, through the organ to strike the reeds, which is why it's also why it's known as a pump organ. Um, this or organ and, and a lot of the um, other organs were made like late 1800s, early 1900s. These were popular in, you know, in people's houses slash small churches because um, a lot, you know, because I mean you can't really fit a pipe organ in there, you know. You know, but you know, same as a pipe or pipe organ. Um, if this had a full pedal board on it, it would have to have um a little hand pump on the side. So um, I was wanting to play a few few um gospel hymns. These are are old time hymns, and um, you know, oh yeah. Before I do that, um, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit about this organ. Like, it doesn't make any sound unless the pedals are pumped. Such as, see, no sound. But when the pedals are pumped, it um that actually made made sound because the pedals were pumped. Now um if you quit pumping the pedals while you're playing, the sound is going to completely go away. Uh, I'll do a demonstration of that too. See, it, the sound died off because I took, because I um, quit pumping the pedals. And uh, now for the gospel hymns. Um, um, first one that I'm gonna play is um, "It Is Well with My Soul." Sorry about the fumbling of notes, but that tends to happen when when you're trying to keep your mind off on them, pumping the pedals and you know and um, playing the keys. Um, <laughs> yeah, that normally does not happen, but but be aware of it when it does because this, like I said, this is an old pump organ, and you know you can't make you can't make the sound unless you pump the pedals. <laughs> um, now. Um, Next hymn um, will be Bringing in the Sheaves. <laughs> plays on nothing but the blood.
hymn I'm, I'm going to play is um, Are You Washed in the Blood of the Lamb? That's a um, good song to play during communion if you're playing a piano, but not one of these because um, you can't really control the sound too well from it. Because, like, here, before I play the song, listen, you know, strike it softly. Same, that's, that's one volume. Strike it hard. Still the same sound, so you can't control the, the volume as, you know, as, like you can on a piano. Now for the song, Are You Washed in the Blood of the Lamb? song will be um, Down at the Cross. for so long. Um, next three songs I'm going to play are um, is, um, Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior, Redeemed, How I Love to Proclaim It, and Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Okay, I'm going to do Pass Me Not. <laughs> This goes way far back in my family, and you know, and to be honest, why people even want to sell these things, I don't even know. You know, especially if, if it's been in their family for so long, but these thing, organs are, are rare these days. You, you know, a lot of people tend to use them for just furniture, which for, to me, why would you want an instrument for just furniture? Seems to me like if you know if you're gonna play an instrument, play it. You know, but go figure. <laughs> but 
you know, this is one of, the, I guess, one of the few organs. Oh, it's, it still is played, and it's very pleasurable when playing the old time hymns on this. Well, I hope you've enjoyed. May God bless you.